What is up you too? This one is for the carbonated water lovers. Cause in my household, we really, really love carbonated water. We were spending so much money on carbonated water from the stores, we decided let's go pick up a soda stream and see how it works out. So late last year sometime, I was able to pick up a soda stream jet. Now there are different types of models of soda stream, but they all essentially have the same basic function. They work off a cylinder, you insert a bottle, you press some sort of button and it carbonates the water. Now when we compared the SodaStream Jet to some of the other models, it was clear that the SodaStream Jet is probably the entry level. It was pretty basic, but it was more than fine for us. So my wife is going to unbox this lovely little machine for you guys. But in the meantime, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and we'll keep making these videos. All right, this is our new Soda Stream Jet. We're going to unbox it, so let's open it up and see what's inside. First, I see the cover. It's a twist off cover for the actual container. And then here is the canister. So they all come with one canister. Here it is. Oh, here's the pamphlet. This gives us the assembly instructions here on the back. So let's see how this looks now. So there it is from the front. Not a bad looking little machine. There's the bottle that you would refill. There's the spout at the very top that you push to fill it with carbonated, to carbonate it. And here's how you open the back to put the canister. The material of this feels pretty thin. It feels like fairly cheap plastic. Let's measure it and see how tall it is. So it is about 17 inches, including the little um, button at the top. The width is eight inches. And it's about, let's see. Uh, about five inches long. All right, now let's put this together. First, make sure you are doing this on a flat level surface. The first thing we're going to do is remove the bottle. To do this, we're gonna push here and untwist it. All right, there we go. Next step is to open the cylinder. It has some little arrows, so it shows you which way it goes. You simply pull this down and it comes on off. Next thing we're going to do is remove the cap by untwisting it. All right, the next step is to put the cylinder into the soda stream. So I'm going to turn it around. You'll see at the back, there are two buttons, one on each side. You squeeze those in and then you pull the back off. Now we take the cylinder, we place it inside, and we screw the cylinder in. Remember to screw it in tightly. Now we're going to put the cover back on. I'm just going to turn it sideways so you can see another view. So, first things first, we need to place this in the hole here. And then we just click it right on. The 
next step is to fill the bottle with some cold water, ideally right to the fill line. I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I filled the bottle with regular tap water that is cold, um, and I filled it right to the fill line. The next thing we are going to do is put it back into the soda stream. I need to push this tab here, tilt the bottle, and then slowly twist it. the water, I'm going to press this button and hold it down until I hear a buzzing sound. I'm going to do that a total of three times, of course depending on how carbonated I want the water. The more carbonated you want it, the more times you can do it. The noise that the soda stream makes when the carbonation is ready is more like a hiss or a purging of air than it is a buzzing. We'll repeat it two more times so you can get familiar with what this actually sounds like. Now this soda stream's instructions actually state that you should hold the button down in two second intervals three times for light fuzz and five times for stronger fuzz but I find the way we do it by listening for that hiss or purge sound actually works a lot better. Now it's time to enjoy it and see how it tastes. So to take the water bottle out, again we push and untwist. Super fizzy, just the way we like it. You have a few options when your CO2 cylinder runs empty. You can go to the store and buy a brand new cylinder. Here in Canada, Southern Ontario, that will run you around $35 or so. Or you can take your empty cylinder back to certain stores, like Walmart for example, and you'll get a discount on the new cylinder so long as you're returning your old cylinder. You can also go to the SodaStream website. In some cases, SodaStream will actually organize a home pickup if you have enough empty cylinders to return and offer some sort of incentive. SodaStream also states that all their bottles are BPA free. You can also buy extra carbonating bottles if you like, or actually you have to sooner or later because they do expire. And they also sell flavored syrups, but we don't use that stuff because it's not really our thing. The carbonation bottles take up to 840 milliliters of water for carbonation. And each CO2 cylinder can apparently carbonate up to 60 bottles. If you do the math, that's quite the savings. Our soda stream doesn't take up too much space on the kitchen counter at all. Actually, it tucks away kind of nicely next to our coffee maker. Cheers. We've been using our soda stream for four months now and we absolutely love it. We've only changed the cylinder once, which is pretty good considering we use it fairly often. All right guys, that's it for this one. If you found this video helpful, please press like and you might as well go ahead and subscribe too. See you next time.